Now, by the time you're watching this video, it is either aged like fine wine and I was right about everything, or it has aged so poorly and I'm an idiot who should feel dumb. Probably the second one. Ratchet and Clank Size Matters was just brought to the PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 last month, and it really has me wondering what Insomniac is up to. Don't get me wrong, I've been a huge fan of the Ratchet and Clank franchise since the beginning of time, and it's really awesome to see Ratchet and Clank Size Matters on modern platforms. I will definitely be doing another playthrough of this very soon. But anyways, there's a lot of talk and controversy on why this game would be ported to the modern consoles first. This game is highly known as one of the worst Ratchet & Clank games in the entire franchise. Not to mention, it's not even made by Insomniac Games themselves. It was made by another company known as High Impact Games, which was made up of a lot of old Insomniac employees who used to work there, and they kind of created their own small team because they didn't like the direction that the Ratchet & Clank games were, were headed. But like, everybody clearly wants the original trilogy from the PS2 to be on modern consoles. That being Ratchet & Clank 1, Ratchet & Clank Going Commando, and Ratchet & Clank Up Your Arsenal respectively. But instead of that, we got Size Matters. And there is heavy, heavy speculation and even a lot of rumors going around that Secret Agent Clank will be the next one to make it to modern consoles. Which I think a lot of people say is even worse than Size Matters. Now I myself I have a few speculations to why this may be. Please note that these are only speculations and I don't have any evidence that these are happening. My first guess for why the PS2 trilogy is not on modern consoles is because I think that Sony is working on a PS3 emulator for the modern consoles. Though I feel like if they do make this, it will probably be PS5 exclusive and not on the PS4, just because the PS5 is more of a powerhouse. Now, we can assume that if they are making a PS3 emulator for the PS5, then we will likely get the PS3 versions of the original trilogy, which are kind of known as the better version graphics and gameplay wise. I think most of the fans prefer the old PS2 version, but when it comes to looking more modern and high def, I think the PS3 version is overall the better experience. Now, I think that this would also mean that we're not just going to get the, the original trilogy on PS3, but we are also going to get the PS3 games also brought to PlayStation Plus, which includes Tools of Destruction, Crack in Time, Into the Nexus, all of the spin-offs like Full Frontal Assault and All for One. I think we have very high hopes to expect these sort of things. We're just not sure when, but I have a feeling that they are working on getting PS3 emulation to the PS5. I really, really do think that that is something that's happening. And I mean, a lot of fans have been asking for the PS3 games for ages. We all want like an HD remaster or a whole collection of the future trilogy all in one with like even better graphics like Rift Apart graphics. But I think just porting the games periodically will really, really help fans wait until 2029, which is when the next game is leaked to come out. It could be sooner, it could be later, but all we've got is it's 2029, that, that's really the only date we have. Now, this is the most likely option to why we haven't gotten the PS2 Ratchet Trilogy yet on the modern consoles. But my other speculation is a lot more exciting. We Ratchet fans used to go a year until the next Ratchet & Clank game, it was an every year cycle. But recently, it's been getting a bit longer with it taking three years between Ratchet & Clank Into the Nexus in 2013 until we got the Ratchet & Clank movie reboot game in 2016 and then we had to wait an entire five years until we got rift apart on the ps5 now this game was amazing and they had to make a whole new engine and everything so i understand the five year wait and it was very worth the wait because it was such a good game but it seems kind of out of character to release rift apart in 2021 and then the next game in 2029 that's an eight year gap and I understand that games are taking a lot longer to make now, but I really feel like eight years is just a little bit too big of a gap. I do understand that Insomniac is working with Marvel to make the Spider-Man games and the Wolverine games. And I think the Venom game as well was, uh, was leaked. But I feel like we're getting something else, Ratchet. Now hear me out. What I am speculating, and you guys probably already figured it out, I genuinely think that there is a chance that they are fully remastering 
the Ratchet and Clank PS2 trilogy with Rift Apart graphics, completely new mechanics, but instead of messing it up like they did in the 2016 version, it's not going to be a reboot. It's going to be a remake. And I legitimately think that this could be something that is happening. Whether it's with the PS2 trilogy or the PS3 future trilogy, I have a feeling one of these are going to be remade entirely. And it will be released within probably by 2025 to 2026, giving us another five year gap between Rift Apart, but then also making the eight year gap to the next Ratchet & Clank game a lot less devastating. Now, obviously I do understand that porting these games to the PS3 was a pain in the neck. At least that is what Idle Mind said. And so I think it's probably smarter that instead of porting it, I think it is smarter for Insomniac to just remake the games entirely. And I don't think it will take that much longer. I mean, they kind of just have to upscale all the graphics. Obviously, they'll still have to change the mechanics and the weapons and, you know, add more voice lines. Hopefully not nearly as much as in 2016, though. And I think this is unfortunately out of the question, but I think Ouya's multiplayer will be cut entirely. It will probably just be the base single player games. But I really love the idea of this, and I really feel like it might just be a thing that we are getting. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Do you think that they're just releasing Size Matters and Secret Agent Clank first so they can get the most sales? Because if they release it later, they're not going to sell that well, which is honestly a fair move. Or do you think one of these two potential routes is the route that Insomniac is waiting to take? What do you guys think? Do you think we're getting a brand new remastered trilogy? Or do you think they're just waiting to port the PS3 version over? Honestly, like I said, this video could have aged absolutely horribly, but at the same time, it could have aged like fine wine, and I was absolutely correct, and I called it. Let me know what you guys think. I know that this isn't the normal style of video that I do, but I really wanted to get this speculation and what was going on in my brain as a huge Ratchet & Clank fan. I just feel like there's a chance we might be getting something really, really big. And I just wanted to kind of share it with you guys and see what you guys thought. If I'm out of pocket or if you guys were also thinking something similar. Um, yeah, but that's all I have. Obviously, we're just going to be waiting on Insomniac News. I'm sure Secret Agent Clank's coming soon, if not already by the time this video releases. And maybe from there we'll get the trilogy. I truly have no idea. We really don't know what's going on. <laughs> but, I mean, I'm just happy that we're getting Ratchet games on the modern platform. I don't care if it's Size Matters. I don't care if it's the future trilogy. I don't care if it's the PS2 trilogy. I just love that we're, we, we get to play them on modern platforms without having to stream them. Because streaming them sucks. Thank you so much for watching this video. I truly hope you enjoyed. Please be sure to let me know what you think of my bizarre theories in the comments below. I thank all of my members very, very much. Your guys' support really helps motivate me to make more videos and I really, really appreciate it. If you want to become a member, click the link below. And be sure to check out more of my content if you enjoyed this video. Rodeo.